Hi everybody, this is Joe Decoding Maniac. Today's video is about sentiment analysis. So what is this? Sentiment analysis is trying to analyze the mood of something. And in this tutorial we will build a machine learning model that will try to predict whether a product review is a positive or a negative review. Since the model we will be building is a classification model, the next few videos will be about classification and we'll dive deeper into this topic. The first video is there to have a starting point and to have something to play around with. The videos that will be released in the future may reference things from this video and the code from this video will be available on GitHub. You can find a link to the repo below in the comments. Alright, let's start this. I think a good starting point would be to have a look at the data that we'll be using in this tutorial. The data was provided by Yelp for a contest or something like this and consists of product reviews. The data looks like this. There is one review per line as a JSON object. And to give you guys a better idea about how this data looks like, I formatted one of those entries. So the, for this tutorial relevant properties are the stars rating and the reviews text. But although this file is called JSON, it is actually invalid JSON and we have to apply some small transformations before we can use it in our script. So first of all, we will load this file and apply these transformations. To save us some time, I already added all the imports we will be using throughout the tutorial and also I, I already typed the code to read and transform the data. Let's go through this. First, we read all the lines into, uh, of the file into an array and after this we join the lines back together with commas in between the entries. Also we add brackets around the whole string. This makes the string a valid JSON array. And we can use the JSON library, which I imported as J, to create a JSON object out of this string. With this JSON object in place, we can use the pandas library, which I imported as PD, and use the data frame out of this library, give it the JSON data as a parameter to load this JSON object into this data frame. And with this done, we can examine the data frame using, using the head method. So as you can see, we successfully read the, the, the data into the data frame and have a nice representation of the data. We now need to pre-process the data, but first let's recall what goal we try to achieve. We try to predict whether a review is positive or negative. And for this tutorial, we assume a review as negative if it has a star rating of 1 or 2, and positive if it has a star rating of 4 or 5. So let's prepare our data for this. I copy the needed code to save us some time. So what does this code do? First, we filter all the data sets with a star rating of 3 because with a stars rating of 3, we can't be that sure about whether it's positive or a negative review. And also, we add a new column and call it sentiment. This will be our target in our sentiment analysis model. And we set the values of this column to true for all the positive reviews and false for all the negative ones. So we'll set the value to true for all data points that have a stars rating of 4 or greater. So with this done, we can examine the data one more time and see how it looks like. Now we see that there is an additional column called sentiment and the values are all set to true. And this is because the star ratings of those five entries are all 4 or 5 and this would classify these data sets as a positive review. With our data now prepared, we can start implementing our sentiment analysis model. I will now paste all the code needed to implement our model. There will be quite some stuff going on, 
but I will walk you through all of it. So here's the code. Oops. All right. At first, we need to define training, training sets and test sets. So we have data to train and evaluate our model. Our test set size will be 20% of the data and the training set will be the remaining 80%. We will use the test data later. With this done, we need to calculate word counts for the words in the review so that the algorithm can learn things like if the word great appears three times, it's probably a good review. After creating the word counts, we will use the TFIDF transformer, which stands for term frequency inverse document frequency to give the words different weights. This is needed to filter common words like the, a and 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 to give more significant words a higher weight like great, awesome and awful. In this way the algorithm can learn better. We need to choose an actual classification algorithm because um, sentiment analysis is a classification problem. So we will use logistic regression in this tutorial and after we've chosen an algorithm we can start training our model. For this we pass the prepared data into the model. This data went from all, through all the steps as well as the target which we try to predict which is the y of our training set. And this is basically the sentiment column we created earlier in the preparation process. After this step, we now have a trained model and can actually do predictions with it. But before doing that, you would like to know how good our model is actually doing. For this, we will use our test set. We need to perform the same transformations with the test data as we did with the training data. So we use the count vectorizer as well as the TFIDF transformer to have the same steps going on with the test data. And with this, we can now actually do the predictions and see how good we are doing. So let's see. All right, 94%. This value seems high, but is it actually good? We'll go into more detail in the next video, but for now you have a simple sentiment analysis model working and you can play around with it. So let's just try some, some fictional reviews. Keep in mind that you need to apply all the transformations to these fictional reviews as well, so that the model can handle them. So this is a review. This product was just awful. We, we would assume this to be a negative review, but let's see what our model thinks about it. And the model prints false, so the model also assumes that it's a negative review. Maybe let's try something different. If you write something like this product was good, Let's see what our model thinks about this. And it thinks it's a, it's a positive review. So we can just try some different things. Maybe something like this was, uh, was a great video game. So let's see. And also positive. So just have some fun with it, play around and stay tuned for the next video about uh, more specific details of classifications and sentiment analysis. We now have built our first machine learning model. Yay! And in the next video, I will show you how we can evaluate the performance of our model and we will see whether our 94% accuracy is good or bad. So stay tuned and stay excited.